Bush. Another cold start here in the Permian Basin as roofs by Nika Sky Tracker in Midland. We do notice mostly clear skies right now in Midland. A very cold temperature of 27 degrees, so still below normal for this time of year. And with light winds around 10 miles per hour, feels like 18 degrees. But it's going to be warming up in the 40s and 50s with generally dry and sunny conditions today. Much warmer tomorrow, but at the expense of gusty winds, the dry trend is going to be the big story really over the next several days. We do notice that we have this upper level ridge. If you follow those clouds from the Pacific Northwest all the way down into the center parts of the United States moving off into the east. That's providing warmer air aloft and drier conditions. And as that moves east, we are going to be seeing much more in the way of, again, closer to normal temperatures. So much warmer compared to what we really have been seeing. So any snow and ice is going to start to melt here in the basin. Some shady areas in Odessa, Midland, still some snow and ice, about one to three inches of snow still on the ground in the higher elevations. But by middle of the week, I do expect there to be virtually no snow or really even any ice on the ground as temperatures are going to be warming up today, primarily in the 40s and 50s, low temperatures in the mid 20s, 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year with light winds, dry conditions and mostly sunny skies. So a great day to enjoy the outdoors. We still have northerly winds, so that's why we have colder air. So with a 10 mile per hour sustained wind and a current temperature of of, again, 27 degrees, feeling more like 18 in Odessa, Midland. Some slightly gustier winds here in the southern eastern basin and naturally in the higher elevations. But those winds are really going to subside overnight with the dry conditions and clear conditions. Low temperature of 23 degrees, so cold conditions as well. So similar temperatures compared to what we're seeing right now overnight for tonight and for early tomorrow morning. But for today, again, it's going to be warming up. A little bit warmer compared to what we saw later last week, so that's certainly some good news. If you guys like the warmth, 50s for the most part, 40s in the higher elevations. Again, really starting to cool off overnight, already near freezing or below in many areas by midnight before warming back up tomorrow. Much warmer compared to what we'll see this afternoon. Did you see widespread 60s? Gustier winds, though, with more clouds and the increase later in the day. But the dry trend continues here in the basin. Our chances of precipitation are slim to none for today, for tomorrow, and also for the rest of the week. That's because we have that upper level ridge providing warmer and drier air aloft. Hardly any clouds in the basin in northern Texas for this afternoon more than overnight hours and also for tomorrow. So, again, a great time to enjoy the outdoors as We'll be seeing a mix of clouds and sun later in the week with gustier winds and fluctuating high temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and lower 60s before warming up on Friday and then really cooling off on Saturday with our next best chance of precipitation.